This poached pear recipe is great for the holidays. Not only do the mulling spices in the wine help bring out all the flavors, but it's very simple to make and it looks like a professional chef did it. I picked the smaller pear at my grocery store just because I like the size and I think it'll look better on the plate for our dessert. Now we're gonna add three cups of port. Then add your three cups to your saucepan. Next, we're gonna add a cup of sugar. Now I'm gonna add my mulling spices to a cloth tea bag. If you're not familiar with mulling spices, they're usually a mixture of dried orange peel, lemon peels, whole nutmeg, cloves, star of anise, cinnamon, stuff like that. You only need about a quarter cup. Now I'm just gonna cinch my bag and add it to my port. Now I'm gonna add half a cup of orange juice to my mixture. Now I'm gonna add half a vanilla bean. I'm gonna cut it open and scrape out the seeds and add both to my mixture. Now I'm just gonna give it a mix. I'm gonna turn the mixture on high heat, bring it to a boil, and then reduce it to a simmer. When you pick out your pears, make sure to pick firmer ones. You wanna do this because they'll take a little bit longer to cook, which means they'll absorb more of the port. You wanna make a nice pattern when you're peeling your pears because it will show up after the wine has soaked in. I like to make a swirl design. So just come down and bring it all the way over. When picking out your pears, make sure that you grab ones with the stem still attached. It just looks better for presentation. Now I'm gonna core my pears. Just take a utility knife or a paring knife and scrape out the bottom. Make sure you get all the seeds, get all the way down in there. Should look like that. So then you're gonna chop a little part of the bottom off so it lays flat when you plate it. So just continue this process for the rest of your five pears. And then you can add them to your port. Just every so often, give them a light turn so they make sure they get pour on all sides. Do you notice how already you can start to see the lines of where we peeled it? So we wanna be really careful to get a nice design. There's two most common kinds of port, the tawny port and the ruby port. I went with the ruby port in this recipe because it has a richer red color versus the tawny port, which has more of a brown color. You can see why you'd probably want the red color for this recipe. While our pears are poaching, let's work on the mascarpone and honey mixture. We're gonna do a cup of mascarpone. If you're not familiar with mascarpone, it's actually a cheese, but it's a flavorless cheese. You can give it a little taste and see what it's like. It's great to use because it doesn't have much flavor. It really complements whatever you add to it, brings out those natural flavors. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of honey to our mascarpone to give it some sweetness. Give it a mix. Now just set that in the fridge until your poached pears are ready. So they're looking about ready. What I like to do is use my toothpick trick to make sure that they're done. I just take a toothpick, I give them a little poke. Oh, yep, yeah, and it went right through. Once that happens, you know they're ready. Now you're just gonna put them on a plate and let them rest while you work on your sauce. See how perfect they are when you cut off the bottoms, they stand up straight, just looks so much nicer. I only did three to show you, but this recipe can cook up to six. I'm gonna take out the bag of mulling spices and my vanilla bean to make my sauce. Now we're gonna put our liquid back on high and reduce it till it's almost like a syrup. It'll take about another 10 to 15 minutes. Tip your spoon in, get that nice coating, see how it's like a syrup, and that ruby red color, that's from the port, that's what we want. So now I'm just gonna take my reduced liquid and start plating. If you like this recipe and wanna see more, subscribe to my channel. So now I'm gonna add my honey and mascarpone mixture. Just take two spoons, Roll them together to get a nice shape, and then place it on your plate, just like that. And for a little extra touch if you want, you can sprinkle some honey along the mascarpone. I like doing this because it kind of gives your guest an idea of what flavors are in there when you garnish it with that. Well, there you have it, the infamous poached pear. They're super simple to make. They look like they should be in a restaurant, and your guests will be so thankful that you made it for them. Mmm, that is so good. It's just light, it's refreshing, it's not too sweet. It's perfect dessert. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Bye my lovelies.